Good morning, son. Uh, we're going to continue the video on reloading. Basically, this video right here is going to be setting up our our Lyman 1200 uh, PS3. It's a digital uh, powder measuring system. It's a really good setup. Uh, I'm going to go through the process of getting it set up ready to use. It takes 30 minutes to warm up. But uh, I'm gonna go, like I said, I'm gonna go through what it takes to set this up. First thing you need to do is go over here to this side door right here. Uh, there's a way to get in here, slide that door back, and it has the power supply inside. So basically, uh, you unwind the power supply. And I'm going to go over here to the wall and plug it in. And then you basically plug it in right there. And you'll hear it beep and carry on. What you do need to do though, you, you're going to have to push that button to turn it on. And you'll see where it says warm up. Then it'll go to this 29 minutes 55 seconds and a countdown to zero and it tell you that it's warming up all this time uh, but while it's doing that we're going to continue with the setup process of this I'm going to turn it around one of the things you'll have to do is take this tube off and you'll have to remove this clip right here basically uh, you pull it up and just set it off to the side. Uh, that That's because this has to hinge open right here. And that will hinder it. There's some other features about this like when you're emptying the powder, the powder goes in this hop right here. Uh, right here. And basically you will put the tube on top right here and you can fill this canister on up uh, Heck, all the way up here. You can put a lot of powder in there if you're going to do a lot of, if you're going to do a lot. But right here, in this section right here, is when you get ready to drain the powder. It's got a little feed ramp right there for draining. And it's got a little door here. You see that part right, uh, let me get something to point with, this part right here. Basically, what you, what's going to happen here is you raise this. And all your powder is going to run out of the hopper right here. And normally I turn it around backwards and put it on the side of the counter and let it run back into the powder uh, bottle right here. And so today, all I'm going to be doing right now is just showing you the setup on this and the basic operations. So I'll close that door. Again, you push it down to close it and flip that up. I'm going to spin this back around, show you the face of it. You see, you see it's got 28 minutes left. Uh, right here, uh, you got a button here called Auto Repeat. I use this right here a lot, okay? Uh, this is your cancel or stop button. This right here, uh, this trickle button right here, what you can do if you're doing just manual uh, loads right here without using the scale. You can trickle it right here. You can do it fast. Uh, dump a bunch of powder in there. And then you can slow it down to a trickle where it just empties into this uh, this right here. Uh, you'll need to remove this uh, this uh, piece right here. This cap right there to allow the powder to dump out. But I usually don't do that until after I've loaded the hopper because it will run down in there if it, you know this has the potential of running down in there but basically uh, you'll plug it in you'll turn it on right here it'll go through its warm-up right here there is a uh, uh, little precise weight right here it's uh, 20 grams and that's how you test to see when you go through your calibrating and stuff like that to make sure the thing is set correctly. Uh, 
right here i like this uh this is right here it's whenever you decide that you're going to use like uh on this bottle here i'm gonna load 223 ammo and this charge right here is the maximum charge so I never go over the maximum charges uh usually start uh as as much as 10 percent below it uh but I know what my, my gun likes. Uh, I usually set mine at uh, 22 points. Uh, what was it? Uh, it's 22.6 is what I set my powder for. Uh, I got uh, the primers at 22.6 at will flatten out a little bit, but not too much where you'll see a when the firing pin hits, it won't build a, a crater around it like a... You see like where like a meteorite hits and it builds up a rim around the edge. It doesn't do that, but it still flattens out the primer all the way around. So that's telling me I got plenty of pressure, uh, but it's not too much. So that's what I like to do. Uh, I use 22.6 grains of the H322. That's really good powder uh, from Hodgson. Uh, powder and primers are getting fairly expensive. But uh, what you would do, you would, uh, if I wanted to set it up to 22.6, all you would do is hit 22.6 and then enter, and then it'll start feeding out over there. And you just, while it's doing that, you can press auto repeat. And what auto repeat does is once this dispenses and you take your powder and uh, you take your cartridge, put your uh, funnel over it, and you dump your powder, reset your cartridge back over in the loading block over there, and set. once you set this back down on there, it will automatically dispense the next charge. And it'll keep a running tab of how many cartridges you've done through here. So this is a really neat setup, and when you get done, uh, all you do is just press off, unplug it, roll the thing back up, put it back in the side, close it, and you're good to go on that end. Then you turn it around, you put your cap back on here, turn it around, empty your powder like I told you to, uh, and then you can take this off. You can take this little brush right here and you can wipe the rest of the powder out right there. And then you can do this fast, press this fast button right here and what it'll do, it'll empty all that's in there out. And uh, once that's done, uh, you can turn it off, uh, put the cap back on there, put that, uh, take your hopper right here, put the little, little bracket back on the back, snap it in, put the, the cover back on, and put it back in this box. Uh, and that's pretty much all you need to do. Uh, one thing I have learned about this particular scale, if you wanted to uh, dump 22.6 grains, simply because there's a time lapse from the last time it, it, the powder leaves to here, it's usually about one-tenth of a grain off. In other words, I would set this scale at 22.5, and by the time it ended and beeped, and if you let it sit there, it'll show 22.6 because it was still dumping powder when it came up to where it said 22.5. Ah, uh, you know, they didn't take that in consideration, I don't think. But I know that's what it does, so that's okay with me. I have no problem with it. This is a very good, very accurate scale. I have a Texas scale out back. Sometimes I'll dump what was in the cartridge when I go back out there to seat the bullets. And... Uh, check it against the uh, just a regular uh, gravity scale and it's it's close I trust this I also have a Hornady scale a manual scale that I can check it as well against it as well uh, which is a digital scale as well and it's accurate uh, this thing is very accurate so uh, once you get your weight in there you dump your powder using this powder, powder funnel and put each one of the cases that are loaded back in the block. Now, uh, I've got all these in here right now, 
but normally just for safety fa uh, reasons I dump all these out onto something where they won't run off and I only put charged rounds into this right here once I start the, the reloading process and so it's just a little safety thing that I do you can do it whatever however you want to I just it's a checks and balances for me well son that's how you get this set up so I think you'll do good on this right here I still got shows that still I got uh, let's see 21 minutes left for it to warm up so once I get started I'll uh, I'll show you how to uh, dump the powder once it warms up. Alright son, talk to you in just a little bit.